Hey guys, and welcome back. So I want to wish you all first happy holidays and a happy new year. Hope you all had a great time. And I just want to thank you guys again for all the support you guys have been showing throughout the last year. Um, we didn't hit our goal of 500 subscribers, but we got very close. We're at 404 as of the moment I'm recording this video. So again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys. I really appreciate all that support. And uh, if you're new to the channel or if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing and hitting that like button down below. It does help the content of this channel. Um, and it does help me as a creator continue to make more videos for you guys in the future. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so today we're going to be downloading the new update for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Um, we're going to check out what's new in that update once I go through the installation process for you guys. Um, but I'm going to give you guys some directions now as to how to properly install it. So as always, the first thing you want to do, uh, this is what I always do anyways, is I open up the Windows Update and just check to make sure that there is no Windows Updates. Um, and again, this is always important because you want to make sure that you're always up to date or else, you know, you don't want to create any kind of conflicts when you're trying to play the game. Um, I also usually check my graphics driver, so I use a GeForce card, so I have something called the GeForce Experience, um, which you guys should have as well if you're on a GeForce. If you're not and you have uh, like an ATI card, you'll probably use a different program. Um, but for me, I just click on drivers here and then check for updates. And I'm usually fairly good at this, so I usually try and keep that up to date as much as possible. And then the next step you guys want to do is you want to open up the Windows Store. So, um, I forgot to mention this, but uh, I am running Windows 11, so my store may look a little bit different than yours. Um, but it's the same concept, when you open it, you go to your library, mine is here on the left. Uh, when I click on it, you can see here that there's a Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, that's available as an update. So I'm going to click on update here, and we'll give it a second, it shouldn't be too long. There you go, so that's already been updated. So now that this is updated, I'm going to open up the sim and there should be another patch in there which will tell you what's been added to the sim. Okay, and here we are at the installation manager. So on this page, this may look familiar, you usually see this every time we get a world update or a, a patch update for the sim. So uh, again, the one thing you want to make sure is here where it says install package path. Um, you want to make sure that this is pointing to your sim in the correct location. If it is not, you're going to want to click on the browse button and then you're going to search for your simulator's folder. Uh, mine is set to the correct location, so I'm going to leave it as is. And you can see here on the right where it says update, there is an update of 716.06 megabytes, um, which isn't that big compared to some of the older ones. Um, but we're going to go ahead and just click update and this will run in the background for a while so you can see it's pretty quick because it's not that big um, in the meantime we can take a look at the release notes until that's done so here we are release notes for version 1.21.18.0 and i'm not going to touch on all these points um, but i do want to touch on the more important ones so stability several crashes have been fixed across the title i think you guys are going to welcome that one because i know that's been an issue with a lot of people um, in terms of navigation, the 2113 uh, data has been added, which is great. Uh, weather, so improvement uh, or improved management for high proximity metars to avoid hard weather transitions. Uh, fixed abnormal temperatures above 45,000 feet. Uh, fixed custom weather presets save data. Uh, live weather clouds on ground should now display as fog. Uh, rain and fog now correctly receive shadows from clouds above. That's going to look really nice. Uh, fixed uh, 10SM METAR visibility. I'm not sure what that is, but if you guys know, let me know in the description. Uh, fixed live weather referring to AMSL instead of AGL. So we are seeing a couple of new improvements as well with this update. Um, peripherals, you got the track IR support has been fixed. Um, fixed unable to pan drag world map using a custom mouse profile. I uh, haven't really experienced that either. Uh, in terms of planes, there's a few here. HUD shader support for third-party planes, reverse throttle, 
uh, livery overriding mechanism for Wasam modules. Glass cockpit remains off when starting from cold to dark in the Velocity. Uh, white rendering of the cockpit in the 787-10 Dreamliner. Um, oh, it looks like it's done what it had to do. So now that we're back in the sim, I know I wasn't able to read the rest of the patch notes, but if you guys ever have the same situation, you do want to get to read the rest of it. Um, at the bottom of the screen here, when you get into the sim, you have read support and release notes. So if you click on this and you scroll down a little bit, you'll notice that they're all here. So again, you'll see the stability, the navigation, which you went through. There's the weather, um, the VR, there's the peripherals. We have the planes. Um, oh, world. World is the one that I wanted to see here. So, uh, fixed an issue where the roads could blink. I'm not sure what issue that is. Maybe I didn't notice it in the past. Uh, fixed color banding introduced in Sim Update 5. I did notice this one, and it is kind of annoying, so hopefully that's been fixed. Um, and there's some updates to the Reno. So, performance optimization for Reno, multiplayer races. Uh, Reno stands are no longer misplaced during RTC. Fixed too high notification when starting a time trial. Um, the UI, not much has changed here, but assistance preferences should no longer be set to easy without user's input. This is uh, this one was really annoying for me. Um, after last update, it's happened several times where you go to start up your sim or a flight, then everything has been reset back to easy. So then you get all those notifications and all those uh, tool tips and everything else start showing up when I had disabled them. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping that that's been resolved because that was really annoying. Um, and localization update across all supported languages. Good. And then we got the SDK here. If anybody's interested in that, you can read that part at the bottom there. Okay, so that pretty much sums up the update. So the last thing to do... Um, is always check for updates within the content manager of the sim. So I'm going to head over to profile and content manager. And sometimes you'll have some, sometimes you won't. In this case here, there's actually 40 updates available for me. And again, it may vary from person to person because you may have different content. Um, a lot of these look like they're part of the Reno races where I had purchased the whole package. So that's probably why I have so many. Um, but uh, once you click on these, then you're going to select all. And then at the bottom here, you're going to see it says download. I have a 9.76 gigabytes uh, download that I have to do. So I'm going to click download. And this is going to take a while to download. And I'll see you in a few seconds once this is done. Okay, guys. So that's it. It's finished downloading. And uh, that's pretty much it. So the patch is updated. Everything is good to go. It's just a matter of flying and seeing if you guys notice any differences now. Um, so before I finish off the video, I did want to mention that uh, I was going to make it a surprise for one of my next videos. But uh, since you guys are so amazing, um, I'm going to let you guys know in advance and give you guys a little sneak peek at what one of the next videos is most likely going to be. Um, I've been waiting for this product now for quite some time. I finally was able to get one. And uh, I'm super, super excited for this thing. Um, I just got it in. I will be doing an unboxing so you guys can see what it looks like, what comes in the box, and how it works. And uh, yeah, I'm just excited for you guys to, to see this. It'll be most likely probably the next video that I post. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope it was informative and you guys were able to install uh, your update without any issues. If you have any questions or concerns, as always, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. If this video ended up helping you guys, or if you like what you saw, don't forget to leave a like on the video. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, it helps us out a lot. And I always appreciate the support. You guys have yourselves a wonderful evening, and we'll see you on the next one.